Lambda CDM of cold dark matter and the dark energy that everybody considers a standard. According to that model, some of these these objects they're seeing from the early universe are too massive. They'd have too many stars in them. It Do doesn't they have make time to make to become that massive. Did, well, that all be, of the right? all of the ordinary matter of the universe would have had to go into these things, and that just doesn't mm -hmm. make sense. You don't have enough ordinary matter to produce that many stars. The James Webb Space Telescope's recent discoveries have sparked a crisis in modern science, challenging many of the long-held assumptions about the universe. The images and data it has provided show phenomena that seem to contradict what we once believed, suggesting that the universe may not be as uniform as scientists had thought. For much of the 20th century, the cosmological principle which holds that the universe is the same in all directions was central to our understanding of cosmic evolution. This assumption was foundational for the Big Bang Theory. However, new findings from the Webb Telescope suggest that the universe may actually be inhomogeneous, with structures like galaxies, stars, and nebulae not distributed as evenly as expected. This could fundamentally alter how we understand the universe's formation and expansion. Recent observations have revealed galaxies that are much older and more developed than expected, and some quasars are brighter and older than previously believed. These discoveries indicate that the early universe may have been more complex than originally thought challenging our models of galaxy formation and the timeline of cosmic evolution. Additionally, structures like the Great Ring, a vast ring of galaxies, defy the notion of a uniform universe, suggesting that large-scale cosmic structures may form in ways we didn't anticipate. If these discoveries hold true, they could force a major revision of our cosmological models potentially requiring us to rethink our understanding of the Big Bang, the nature of cosmic evolution, and even the fundamental laws of physics. The possibility that the universe is not as homogeneous as we thought raises questions about the forces shaping space and might lead to new theories about the cosmos. While these discoveries are perplexing, they offer a deeper look into the universe and may push scientists to rethink everything from the formation of galaxies to the very nature of space itself. Although the answers are not clear yet, these findings mark a significant moment in science, one that may ultimately reshape our understanding of the universe. The universe, which contains galaxies made up of millions or billions of stars, is spread across vast distances, with galaxies connected by filaments and gathered into clusters. Along with these galaxies, there are also voids, black holes, and other cosmic phenomena that contribute to the grand scale of the universe. New research has found a surprising detail. One side of the sky contains about 0.5% more quasars than the other. Quasars are incredibly bright centers of galaxies powered by supermassive black holes, and this uneven distribution suggests that matter in the universe is not as evenly spread as once thought. Another discovery that challenges the idea of a uniform universe is the existence of two colossal cosmic structures, the Big Ring and the Giant Arc. These structures, made up of galaxies and clusters, are so large that they surpass the scale at which the universe was believed to be homogeneous and isotropic. They are so immense that current measurement techniques are struggling to comprehend their full extent. These massive structures imply that within the universe, there are cosmic mountains and scientists are still uncertain about how these formations emerged or how they fit into the overall structure of the cosmos. These latest findings add weight to the growing suspicion that the universe is not as homogeneous 
as previously assumed. Before these discoveries, there were already signs of inconsistency, such as differing measurements of the universe's expansion rate, known as the Hubble tension. If the universe is not uniform, it might explain why its expansion is not happening evenly across all regions. There could be an unknown layer or force influencing these measurements, or perhaps a cosmic mountain obstructing uniform expansion. The James Webb Space Telescope has played an important role in confirming the Hubble tension, shedding new light on the universe's true nature and challenging long-standing beliefs. The cosmic microwave background radiation, considered the afterglow of the Big Bang, shows a remarkably uniform distribution of matter. This radiation originated around 380,000 years after the Big Bang during a period known as recombination. At this time, the universe had cooled enough for protons and electrons to form neutral hydrogen atoms. Prior to this, the universe was a dense plasma where particles constantly interact, scattering photons and keeping matter and radiation closely linked. The scattering of photons by matter kept the universe opaque, meaning that radiation couldn't travel freely. Once the universe cooled to below 3,000 Kelvin, electrons combined with protons, reducing the number of free electrons and allowing photons to travel unhindered. This release of photons is what we observe today as CMB radiation. Its uniformity led scientists to initially believe that the early universe was nearly homogeneous and isotropic. However, this assumption may be challenged by the idea that the universe isn't expanding into empty space but into a space that already contains something else. While the Big Bang might have started with a homogeneous distribution of matter, the expansion could have encountered various obstacles that disrupted this uniformity. These obstacles, possibly in the form of other dimensions or universes, could have exerted influence on the expansion of our universe. This idea aligns with quantum physics, which suggests that a multiverse with multiple nested dimensions and different universes is more plausible than a single universe. If our universe is expanding into such a multiverse, it could interact with these other universes or dimensions, creating resistance or influencing its evolution. This theory presents an exciting possibility, but also introduces new complexities that challenge our current understanding of the cosmos. An initially homogeneous Big Bang could have evolved into an inhomogeneous universe as a result of encounters with other dimensions or universes. This idea, though fascinating, has received little official recognition despite the inconsistencies in current astrophysics. Some researchers, particularly those supporting multiverse theories, have drawn an intriguing comparison to Earth. Our planet, too, started as a homogeneous entity. Early planets, much like early stars, are composed of gas and dust. Over time, Earth became more independent, developed its unique shape, and moved through the solar system, undergoing changes as it collided with other celestial bodies. Initially, Earth was a hot, glowing ball with evenly distributed matter. Over time, however, a more complex, heterogeneous structure formed. On Earth's surface, we now observe large oceans and land masses that are not uniformly distributed. For instance, the Pacific Ocean is vast. While the Eurasian continent is large and Africa sits almost next to it, the Americas, on the other hand, are elongated and narrow. This uneven distribution reflects the transformation of Earth from a homogeneous to a heterogeneous world. On Earth, we observe various forms of inhomogeneity such as deep sea trenches, shallow seas, deserts, mountain ranges, 
and regions with varying population densities. These diverse structures have developed over millions of years as the planet transitioned from a homogeneous state to a more varied one. This shift from a uniform to a diverse world is not unique to Earth. Other rocky planets in the solar system, such as Mars, Venus, and Mercury, also exhibit signs of heterogeneous structures, though these changes are not as pronounced as on Earth. The progression of these planets from uniformity to complexity suggest that such transformations are a common part of planetary evolution. When we examine the rest of the solar system, we see that the gas giants, such as Jupiter and Saturn, are relatively homogeneous and likely haven't changed much over millions of years. However, the diversity of the rocky planets highlights the uneven distribution of matter and gas within the solar system. This observation suggests that the universe, too, might evolve from a homogeneous state to one marked by greater heterogeneity over time. Recent discoveries from the James Webb Space Telescope have revealed that many of our previous scientific assumptions may be incorrect. The foundations of old cosmological theories are being challenged, and we may have to accept that even fundamental forces in the universe undergo change and evolution over time. This calls for a reassessment of how we understand the cosmos as a dynamic and evolving entity.